Hey guys, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at iOS 13 Developer Beta 4. As I usually like to do a day or two after downloading a beta, I like to share with you guys additional new features and changes that I come across after using the software, and you can still anticipate an additional follow-up, a long-term follow-up, where I test the battery, the performance, and also share with you guys any additional bugs that I may come across within the software. But in this video, we're specifically taking a look at some additional new features and changes within iOS iOS 13 developer beta 4. Now, if you're on the YouTube community page here on my YouTube channel, you may notice that I have a poll up currently that I ask, how is iOS 13 developer beta 4 working for you? So if you have the software installed, I would like to know your thoughts on this community poll. Leave your thoughts, leave your vote, and let me know how the software is performing for you. This helps everyone. This helps the entire iOS community understand what some of the issues are within iOS 13. And hopefully Apple can see this in and also fix most of the issues that you guys and myself will be having. I'll be lingering around this poll so you guys can comment. I'll reply back and we can have a conversation and see what all the issues are currently existing with an iOS 13 developer beta 4. So be sure to vote and leave your comment on this community poll. Let's begin. The first thing I do want to talk about is UI changes. There's quite a bit of UI changes that you won't really notice at a first glance. Now beta 3 is on the right by the way and beta 4 is here on the left. So let's take a look here at 3D touch menu for example take a look at the size of the font definitely smaller in beta 4 and this translates through the entire OS I'm not sure if this is a smart move or not but Apple has definitely changed the size of the font make it smaller and more compact now they've added additional menus if you didn't watch my initial coverage to rearrange app icon settings here with 3d touch allows you to rearrange your applications a lot easier in iOS 13 developer beta 4 and you can see that the shadows behind the 3d platters are more pronounced right so we see here that Bluetooth a Wi-Fi cell and battery have been inverted as well and more compact in beta 4 you see there that the batteries at the bottom instead of at the top Bluetooth at the bottom here and now at the top now let's jump into settings here quickly there's something I want to show you right here what I mean by more shadows within the backgrounds of specific settings you see here that the search bar is now more pronounced you see a shadow sort of a grayish gradient to the back before it was just search and you couldn't really tell where you were supposed to tap but now the actual shadow highlighting the search bar all the menus are more pronounced you can see them easier specifically within dark mode there's more spaces in between the menus and everything just seems a little more compact so definitely changes around the entire UI with the fonts the shadows and the menus now let's go ahead and jump into the messages applications there's quite a bit of changes in here as well if we 3d touch in beta 4 on a conversation or a message thread comparison to beta 3 we see here that we have quick reply options that's it in beta 4 we have reply via messages calls video calls email this person or make payments using Apple pay third-party services are also integrated so you can make phone calls using Skype video calls using Skype reply via whatsapp all these menus as long as these options are available on your device with the applications enabled you can do that within the message thread by simply 3d touching now if we go to the actual message itself we see here that the actual voice dictation button or the actual voice message option is different we have a little microphone here on this one we have sort of a wave right there so definitely something a minor change in the messages application there as well when creating a new Memoji in iOS 13 developer beta 4 for the ears specifically we have a mix and match option at the bottom here that allows us to have a different set of uh, options for different left and right ears so you can have maybe an airpod or a hearing aid on one ear and then on the other one you can have an earring or something like that so definitely you see here mix and match something that's not uh, possible in beta 3 so definitely something new there as well another thing new within iOS 13 developer beta 4 inside of the App Store menus this splash screen is now different from beta 3 as you see here more cleaner more refined look it looks like Apple is refining the software offer a tad bit everywhere so if we take a look here at the actual widgets we also see that we have a rounder button here on the menus for the bottoms to edit this one is more of an oval so you see there that the edit button has changed in the menus for the widgets as well so Apple is just refining the entire OS and I like
like what they're doing. Now I've also received some additional splash screens here for the maps applications. For example, a lot of you guys have gotten this one in beta 3. For whatever reason, I've received it in beta 4, but it gives you more information of the maps applications. Look around, which is exploring using 3D imaging within Apple Maps. We have favorites and collections. We have series suggestions, sort of explaining everything within the maps application. Now we also have minor changes here in the clocks application as well. If we go to the sleep time menu, minor, minor change, there's different colors here for the actual icon. And if we jump over to the activity application, there's a new trends tab that's refined and there's also new 3D touch menus. I really like the activity application and what Apple is doing. But with the new trends tab, a lot of more detail, a lot of specific details and breakdown. Everything is more compact, more clear, more refined. I really love what Apple is doing with activity. I do use my Apple Watch every single day. So the activity applications with the new trends tab is definitely, definitely something that I'll be using. It's really, really cool. Now there's some other changes as well within the iPhones that have 3D touch displays. If we go to the accessibilities and touch options, we go to the 3D touch and haptic touch, which is now changed by the way. So if we go here to this device running beta three activities, touch and right here, 3D touch has now been renamed to 3D touch and haptic touch. And we see that the menus here have slightly changed as well. So if we take a look at the actual images, we have different images for the actual menus on the 3D touch and haptic touch menu. Of course, you can adjust the speed as well. So you have the option to have a slower or faster duration when you go to 3D Touch on a 3D Touch device. Something not available on haptic touch devices, something that I wanted to mention. So that is a quick look at some of the additional new features and changes. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget again to go ahead and leave your comment on the YouTube community page. Let me know how iOS 13 beta 4 is working for you so everyone can understand all of the bugs and issues that are currently existing. So leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.